Today we're looking at how to make a blood pressure journal that we can print and use to measure our blood pressure for 14 days with Google Sheets. Welcome back, I'm Kevin Kay from KevinK.com and on this channel I do a lot of product reviews, social media tutorials, and a lot of live streaming. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. Whether or not you have experience using spreadsheets, the concepts that I'm going to show you here can be used as an introduction to show you what spreadsheets can be capable of. I'm using Google Sheets on a Chrome browser on Mac OS, but even if you're using Firefox or Safari or any other browser, Windows, Linux, or any other operating system, Microsoft Excel, OpenOffice, or any other spreadsheet, the concepts will be the same and you'll be able to accomplish the same thing we're gonna do right now. The first thing I wanna do is name my spreadsheet so that the file is saved and we don't lose our progress. So I'm gonna call mine Blood Pressure Journal. The next thing that I wanna do is add that same title into the top of our spreadsheet. Once we've got a few more things together, we'll format the different areas of the spreadsheet so it looks a lot nicer when we print it out. For the first column on our spreadsheet, I'm going to drop down a couple of rows with my arrow keys and type the word date. Now, in my case, I want to check my blood pressure morning and evening, so I'm going to have two areas, both with the same four columns each, starting with the time. I'm just going to hit my tab key and that helps me jump over to the next column where I can put the word systolic and next we'll use diastolic and finally pulse. The next thing that I want to do is copy these four columns. So I'm just going to select all of them together by clicking my mouse and holding across, then right clicking and using the command for copy. Next, I'm gonna go over to the following column and I'm going to right click again and just use the command for paste. Now we've got two identical areas. I just wanna put titles over them. So I'm just gonna head back here to the column and row over time and I'm going to use the word morning and then I'm going to tab over to the next area and use the heading evening. The next thing that I want to do is make sure that our spreadsheet is going to be able to track 14 days worth of measurements. So what I'm going to do is head down to the first column and the 18th row in this case and I'm just going to start selecting all the way up to where our grid is going to end. Now it's time to add the grid lines and we have a tool right here for borders. So what I'm going to do is select that and I'm going to put borders around all of these grid sections. And that gives us grid lines throughout almost our entire spreadsheet. If we want to take a look at how this is starting to come together, we can just go to our print preview and it'll show us how the spreadsheet is going to come out if we decide to print it. So there's a few more things we want to do to just make this look a little bit nicer, easier to write and easier to read. So I'll cancel this. One of the things I can do to start formatting the spreadsheet is grabbing all of our rows. If I want to right click here, I'm going to get a command that will give us the opportunity to resize these rows. So you can select a specific row height and I'm just going to make mine 33 and I know that that is where we're going to come out with a nice look for our grid. When we head back now to our print preview, you're going to see that this is starting to take much better shape, but we've still got a lot of formatting to do. One of the things I like to do is center my title across the page. So I'm just going to select all of the columns in the top row, and I'm going to hit a special button here that allows us to merge these cells. 
you notice that it's changed and the grid lines are gone between them. The next thing I can do is hit the alignment and that will give me the chance to center it instead of left aligned, which is the default. I'll click center and then I'm just gonna increase our font size as well. I usually might make titles somewhere around 18 points and I'll make it bold just to add a little bit more readability to it. Now I wanna separate my areas out. So the first one that I'm gonna work on is where the date is because that will be universal. What I'm gonna do is click on the borders button again, and this is gonna give me the opportunity to change the thickness of the border. So I'm gonna make it really, really bold so that it stands out. And I've got another button here just to put outer borders around the entire collection of cells that I've selected. And there we go. Two more sections that I want to separate are the morning and evening. So I'm going to do the same thing to both of those by hitting that border button and selecting outer borders for the area. I'll do the same for the evening now. Click that outer borders button. In the effort of keeping things looking a little bit nicer and pleasing to the eye, we're just going to add outer borders to one cell for the top of the date column here. Now we're gonna do the same thing between the morning and evening where all of the column titles are. One more time, we hit the outer borders. I like to have everything centered. So I'm gonna go back over to the morning area here. I'm gonna select all of the cells at the top. I'm gonna to hit my merge cells button again. You see that that has removed some of the grid lines there. And then again, I'm gonna center that title. I'll do the same thing with the evening. I'll merge the cells together and then I'll center the text. And then I'm going to go to all of our column headings. I can select them all together. I'm not going to merge the cells this time, but I am going to center the text in those. Now we can also align these vertically so that they look nicer in their cells. I'll do the same thing with the morning and evening again. I can do them together. And the last thing I want to do is just add a little bit of bold to all of the text to make it really easy to read. Of course, you'll want to experiment with all of the different things we've tried so that you can customize your blood pressure journal or document the way that you like it. But I'm gonna do one last check to make sure that it's going to print the way that we want. And one last trick that I can show you is that we don't want the original spreadsheet grid lines to come out in our PDF or when we print. So what I'm gonna do is head down to this formatting area and I'm gonna remove show grid lines. The ones that we added will be there, but the original grid lines from the spreadsheet have disappeared. The next thing I can do is head towards the next step to be ready to print and then you can either decide to save as a PDF or print it out if you're going to use it. I'm gonna do both. The first thing I'm gonna do is save this onto my computer so that I can easily print it whenever I want. And then I'm going to print one out straight from Google Sheets that I can use right away starting today. I'll select the right printer and it'll come out for me in just a moment. If you'd like to download the PDF version of the blood pressure journal that I created here, I'll leave a link in the description so that you can get that easily. And there you have it. Our blood pressure journal is ready to use. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, I'd love it if you'd give it a thumbs up, share it with anybody who you think might need to see it. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought about this tutorial. And if you want to see more tutorials like this, I hope you'll subscribe to the channel. Take care for now. Bye-bye.